Is this, is this what you do underway? I was asleep. That's quite a view. I was passed out. Our conditions aren't perfect, but sometimes you just gotta go for it. This could be windy, it could be fast, this could be fun. We've crossed the Gulf Stream seven times. With any luck, this will be our last crossing. This is the payoff. This is the payoff I needed for all this hard work. It is 2.30 or so, getting things underway. And it's about as flat calm as I have ever seen it out here. Greetings from halfway across the Gulf Stream. Uh, you know, conditions are really not all that bad. We're getting bounced around quite a bit and we are motor sailing because the winds are just a little too far in front of us maybe 30 degrees off the bow. It's a little too close for us to sail. Now we do have the predicted south to southeast winds, but because we're crabbing into the Gulf Stream current, meaning we've got the bows turned into the current to offset our drift, that points the bows a little bit more into the wind. So it's a little too close to sail. Now you say to yourself, hey, listen, just bear away and accept the drift. Well, the problem with that is that we've got a cold front that's on its way late tomorrow and into Friday. So if we end up going north around the bank, we leave ourselves exposed to the cold front. So it's a judgment call, but uh, we're just gonna go ahead and motor sail across the Gulf Stream. This is pretty wild. We're gonna go from a depth of 2,800 feet to a depth of five feet in about a quarter mile. The engines are off. We made it onto the bank and man, the Bahamas just always delivers. This water is just incredible. Now, we're only in about eight feet of water, so it's kind of wild getting used to, you know, seeing rocks floating by not too far underneath the keels. Getting the sails set in this absolutely gorgeous water. This is the payoff. This is the payoff I needed for all this hard work. Thank you, thank you wind gods for letting us sail. Darn those computer models. I hate it when they're right. Yeah, all the models were predicting that we would find a big hole in the wind north of Andros Island, and after a few hours of really, really nice sailing, that wind shut off in a period of about 15 minutes. So the sails are flogging. I already doused the jib, and I'll probably take the main down here pretty quick. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Should we motor, or should we throw out the anchor? Well, that was a new experience. We stopped on the bank outside of the New Providence Channel and just slept, dropped the anchor, no one else around, didn't uh, run into any sandbars, and uh, got a good seven hour sleep. And now we are headed to Nassau. Check in, get a SIM card, 
maybe some more eggs and veggies. So we're off to a good start. Uh, the winds are gonna hopefully turn a little more south so we can sail. All right, this is the final bash, I hope. We just uh, went through Northwest Channel. Now we're in the Northwest, what is this, Northwest Passage? Something like that. This is the stretch from the bank off to New Providence and Nassau. Uh, we're motor sailing. This is typically an upwind slog and this has been no different. Real tough one. Hopefully later on today the winds will bend around to the south just enough so that we can sail that last stretch. Well, we're in the final stretch here. What do we got, like 12 miles to go, something like that? Yeah. 12 miles to go and finally the wind came around enough to get the jib out, so we are sailing. Funny little fact about us. We were in the same chorus class in middle school. In and we, sixth grade. In sixth grade. And we both sang sailing. Takes me away to where I always. All right, no more torture, sorry. Pizza time. Pizza time. And strip down. Woohoo! You diving in? I don't know. <laughs> How's it feel? Refreshing. Cheers. Cheers. To you. To you. This is my best pizza ever. I pre-toasted the crust, which is perfectly thin, yet bodacious. And my homemade sauce with fresh garlic, parmesan, and spices. A little bit of honey, a little sun-dried tomato, and lots and lots of pepperoni. What's the occasion? The occasion is we are officially cruising in the Bahamas. We didn't want to go to Nassau, but we needed to check in and get legal. We had no idea immigration had to come to your boat in Nassau, which meant we had to tie up to one of those scary fixed docks. The new fender covers worked great. It also helped that we had offshore winds keeping us off the dock a bit. Luckily, the marina we chose, Harbor Club, had fuel and was right across the street from the BTC grocery store and hardware store so we could kill all the birds with one stone. Oh, we're filling out our paperwork. They get you coming, they get you going. There's a $56 fee for pulling up to the dock to clear it, even though we're buying a whole bunch of fuel too. C'est la vie. Greetings from, actually, I actually don't know which key is behind us, but that way, is Nassau. We checked in this morning. That was a little bit of an adventure right there. Anyway, we're here. We're anchored up. We're on a lee shore right now, meaning the wind is blowing towards the land. And we are being blown towards the land, putting us on a lee shore. But there's a reason for it, and that is all that fun behind us. There's a cold front. I've seen it in the forecast for several days. This cold front is the reason why we left two days ago from Miami to beat the front. Because behind the front, the winds are going to switch directions almost 180 degrees. And after the front goes through in about three and a half, four hours, the wind is going to be blowing from that direction. It'll be blowing offshore and we'll be in the protection of this island. But if we had waited in Miami for this front to blow on through, it would have made passing through the Gulf Stream or crossing the Gulf Stream simply impossible. So we're gonna wait for this cold front to blow through, and then we're gonna ride those north winds down into the Exumas. As promised, here's our cold front wind switch. We are no longer on a lee shore. What's the other benefit of the cold front? 
Ah, cool temperatures. It's nice, huh? It got hot last night. It did. It's time to make some tracks. We've got our north wind as expected. It's going to be a bit of a ruckus ride down the chain, but if we don't go now, we're not going to have the wind angle here in a couple days, so we're going for it. It's going to be windy, it's going to be fast, but it's going to be fun. I kind of can't believe that I'm bundled up sailing in the Bahamas, but the water is beautiful. Chilly, fried egg. We're just flying down the chain today, making good time. Consistently nine plus knots. I think we saw 13.2, but yeah. We got winds up into the mid 20s. Right now it's sustained at 25, 24.8, 25.5. We take a double reef in the main and we have what I would consider a triple reef in the jib. Most of the time when we've got high winds, we're trying to slow the boat down. The boat just really, really wants to go. And up above about 12 knots, oh, the ride gets a little bit, well, it's still a comfortable ride, but it, it gets a little bit less predictable. The boat starts to get out of the water and surf just a little bit. But uh, yeah, very nice out here on this broad reach. This is where catamarans really shine. Uh, in a monohull, we'd be heeled way over, probably rolling around a good bit. And uh, we're sailing fairly flat. Bouncy, but sailing pretty flat. Nice. We are gonna make it to our anchorage here with plenty of daylight. This is a place we've been to before. I think we're gonna go into Samson Key comfortable spot just far enough from the hubbub of big majors and Staniel Key so we're just gonna relax for a couple days clean the boat up do some laundry and relax miles well made <laughs> 